So today we're going to see how we can create a new account with the BIMWriter and start using the service. First, we press the menu in the bottom, select Create Account, then we get the account creation page up where you enter your uh, email address. You need to enter a proper email address because the, the application will, will ask you or send you a confirmation code and you need to type this confirmation code in later. So I'll use my one of my email addresses, which happens to be Jim at BeamWriter. this and then uh, I'll tell the, the app uh, what I want it, wants it to call me or who I am, my organization for instance. In this instance it's just Jim. If I have a website I'll enter the uh, BeamWriter website. This makes sense because when I define beams or services and unbeam them my website will come up and anybody who wants to check out who I am who's beaming the service they can just press the, the website and, and be taken to it press the link and be taken to the website so that's why it makes sense to have, have a website if you have one then I need to select a uh, password looks look okay then you can select whether you want to have news and updates uh, email to you when, whenever we have something. That's not going to happen often, uh, very seldom in fact, so don't worry about leaving it green. You can also decide to take a photo of um, yourself or, or something else. Uh, this photo is displayed whenever you beam a service so that people who pick up the beam can see who is actually beaming the service. So therefore it makes sense to, uh, to either shoot a photo of yourself or something else that you would like to uh, to be visible. Um, I'll just uh, take a selfie. Like that. Use it. And then we're all set. I press uh, create. And then I get this page. And this is the, um, uh, the page where we have to enter a confirmation code which has then been mailed to uh, mailed to your email. In uh, in my instance, I just go to my email and pick up uh, the code. In this instance, it's one seven four zero. That's the code I got in in the email. I press uh, submit, and we are set up with a new account. As you can see, we are now logged in to this new account and we can do stuff like define new services.